Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this colorful rhombus multi-layer seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually two or three times a week. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You also help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 7 colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want and you could use considerably less colors, you could use even 2 colors if you want to try this work and you don't have so much beads. And here I use earring findings, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters, you could use other beading threads similar size. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle, but if it's easier for you, you could use smaller size like size 11 or 12. These are scissors and these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and I back and I will start first with this light green color. Okay, and I'm picking up four green beads, four green seed beads. Okay, I have them here. You see four of them. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and now I'm going to make one more knot like this and pull again okay now I have this and in my next step I'm going through one of the green beads in this direction and now in my next step, I'm going to pick up one green bead and I'm going in the following green. Then again, one green bead, go in the following. You see what I have now. Then again, one green, go here. And do it one more time. Okay, just like this. Then guys, I'm going to pick up my next two colors. The colors of my next two rows. And you see, here if I have this earring as a pattern, my next colors are blacks and yellows, okay? So now I'm going to take a black, two yellows and a black. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this green one here. Just like that. Okay. Now in my next step, I'm going through this black. And what I want to do is add three more beads of my next color which is yellow and I'm adding them here between the black and the yellow from this side here at the top as well and one more here and I'm going through this black one okay you see what I have now I will skip this green one and go directly through the black one because I want to make an additional thread path 
just like this. Now you see I have absolutely the same element like I have here, but it is with different colors and these two elements share this bead here in the center. Okay, now I go in this direction and again here making a reinforcement between the two blacks and the yellows and then I'm exiting here again in the green one. Okay, now I have this. Now what I want to do is repeat the same thing from the other three sides of my work and I'm going here through this green and then through the other green. And again I'm taking the same thing that I took here, a black, two yellows and a black, okay like this, and I'm going back in circle through this green bead. Okay, then again I repeat, go through the black, take one yellow, go through the yellow. Then two more yellows the same way. And then an additional reinforcement going through the next black and then back in circle exiting out of the green bead. Now you see what I have here, the same thing and I'm exiting out of this green bead. Okay, I think you get the idea here, so I'm going to show you this one faster. Okay guys, and off camera I will make one of those elements here and I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see one of those and repeat it here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and you see I have absolutely the same fourth element here. And what I want to do after I exit out of the green and make the last reinforcement is to go in this direction and through all of those yellow beads, just like this. Exit at the top here. And I want to exit also through these two yellow beads in this direction. And now as I'm here, I'm going to add an additional yellow bead and continue like this. By the way, you could go like this, but I feel it's easier for me if I flip my work and go in this direction as I'm right-handed. And in this row, guys, I will add only four yellow beads. One is already added here and one, two, three here. Okay, I'm showing you this.
Okay, and now I am here at this angle bit and I will repeat what I had here with my next two colors. And my next two colors are orange and red. So I'm going to take an orange, two reds and an orange. Okay, this is what I have here. And I'm going back through this angle. Okay, pull. Now I'm going through the first orange here. Now I'm going to add three beads from my second color, which is red. Okay, I exit out of the orange. I'm going through the following red again. Okay, now I have this and the reinforcement that you know you should do. Okay, now I have absolutely the same element here. Now, in my next step, I will do something differently from what I did in my previous row. Okay, I'm going through the following yellow. Just like this. And what I want to take here is one orange and one red bead. Okay, this is what I have. And now pay attention, I'm going through this orange here. That is already there. Okay. Then I go through the same bead that I was initially exiting out of. Okay. Then also I go through two beads in this direction. And now I'm repeating this thing. I take an orange and a red one and I go through this orange that's already there and I pull then again two beads away from here first through one and then through the second okay and here again an orange and a red okay and I'm going back through this orange and again through this yellow here and if it's difficult for you here you might use your pliers okay now I'm here and I want to go through this yellow one and now guys I want to repeat this at the angle but pay attention what I'm taking this time an orange and two reds without the last orange like I did before because here this orange is already there and I'm directly going through it okay like this now the familiar steps Now off camera I will make this reinforcement and I'll be back. And after the reinforcement I'm going out of this yellow and I will repeat what I showed you before. I'm going through the following yellow, I'm taking an orange and a red. I'm going here through this orange. Then through the yellow. And then two beads away from here. In order to repeat these steps, an orange and a red. Go through the orange and go back here. Two yellows away.
an orange and a red go back through this orange and then here through both of the yellows and you see what I have now now I'm exiting out of this yellow I'll show you one more time this and the first step from here and let you do this by yourself after that okay I take an orange and I take two red beads and I go back then through the first orange and then a red another red another red and then additional reinforcement of camera and I'll be back okay and after I reinforce this part in the center I'm exiting out of this yellow and I will show you the next step which is go in this yellow okay then I'm taking an orange and a red and I'm going back through this orange here okay like this then what I do is go in this direction through this one I'm going around and through the next two yellows okay I'm exiting out of this bit and now I think guys you could continue this if you forgot how I'm doing it imagine uh, you are here and rewind the video and repeat it okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and now I'm here at my last step you see I did everything around like I showed you before and I'm exiting out of this yellow and now I usually added an orange and a red one but this time here I have this orange already added from this first element at the angle that I did in the beginning when I was starting this row and I need to add only one red and I'm going here through this orange okay like this then again I'm going through this yellow here just like this okay then what I want to do is exit at my last red road red row and I'm exiting here at the top and what I want to do now is go through these three red beads here in this direction and in my previous two rows I was filling the gap with only one yellow bead at the end and now I'm going to add two yellows uh, two red sorry first I take red and then another red okay then through these four and a red and a red and these beads here 
okay and i'm going to continue this from this and this side and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm here and i need to add my next two colors that are white and green and i'm doing it absolutely the same way like i did before i'm taking them i'm going back in circle here like this i'm going through this white and now i will add three greens now i will reinforce the familiar way and i'll be back okay and i'm here i'm going through the following red a white and a green then go through the next two reds after that and again a white and a green go back and through this green that i've been through and through the next two a white and a green through the white through this red that i've been through and through the following two you see where i am Oh, one more bit in this direction sorry so from this one that i'm going around i go three two in this direction counting this one it's three okay so now take one white and one green go through this white then directly through the one that I was exiting out of and then through the following two then a white and a green go here like this then through this red here and through this red you see here i have one more element compared to the previous the inner row because it's expands and it's normal to have one more element okay and now i take a white and two greens why i don't take the green color uh, the white color sorry because i already have it here and i'm going back in circle you see now go through the white add one green from all the sides okay and then reinforce and repeat this thing from here and then again and again and i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it if you're up to here if not rewind the video and repeat 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 and when i'm here at the last step i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and absolutely the same way i continued my work and i'm here exiting out of this red bead that is next to the angle bead you see where i'm exiting and what I want to do is my neck in my next step is go through this white bead 
only through the white one. And then I will take only one green bead because I already have these two whites added here. This time I'm adding only one green bead. This is a, the last step of each row. Okay. Then what I do is go again through this red. And by the way, if you use tenons and smaller needle, it will be really easy for you. You won't be struggling like me now. So try it this way. Okay, now I think you guess what we need to do in order to finish our work. Go through all of those greens in this direction, just like this. And here at these rows, just fill in the gaps. Okay, I'm filling the gaps. At each row, you fill more gaps. Okay, now if you work correctly here, you should have 15 beads counting this at the edge. Okay, and I will continue, guys, filling the gaps. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am, guys, where I'm filling my last gap, and it is a really pleasant and really easy row. Okay, and now I'm exiting here at the top and I want to add my earring finding and I take a yellow bead, then I take my earring finding, slide those down, then one more yellow. And I go back through this green one. Okay. Then I will reinforce this joint here. And after I reinforce it, guys. What I need to do is make a knot and I will choose a place between two beads. First, I'm going to make a loop. Okay. Then I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. Make sure I'm between those two beads where I started it and I pull and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following seed beads and then cut your thread. Okay, so now my colorful multi-layer earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my colorful multi-layer earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button, and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks works where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.